Hi guys, Mulos here. So today I'm going to do a second review on the MTN 5G router. Just full disclosure, this video is not sponsored by MTN, but they did give me this uh, ZTE 5G router test kit. So I'll be testing out with the one which I purchased using uh, funds for my organization. This one, and then I'm going to be comparing against the one that MTN gave me for reviewing and testing out their 5G and uh, the routers all over the place. So this is an independent review. MTN has not seen uh, the contents of this. They'll be seeing it the first time together with you. And it's an honest review of these services. Then another thing to state is that I am a user in Zambia. I do not, where I live, I do not have, where I live and where I work, I don't have access to fiber. So all along, I only use 4G or wireless solutions. So this is from my practical point of view. It's a realistic, real-world, practical review of what I actually use. So there's no theory involved. Everything I'm talking about is real-world experiences. Then also just to show, I over the years, I've collected a lot of devices. I've collected multiple MiFi's, multiple routers, and uh, I've now upgraded to the 5G. And fortunately, MTN has given me another 5G to test. So everything I'm talking about in this video is independent. Early last month, I made a video about uh, the 5G router that I got from MTN Arcades. And then MTN saw that video and they reached out to me. So I went there, had a talk with them. They explained a few things about the service and all. I'll make them in subsequent videos. If you have got any queries, comments, or suggestions for MTN regarding the 5G rollout, uh, how the 5G works, where it works, and all of those, you can just leave them in the comment section down below. And when I go and meet the MTN team again, I'll ask those questions and I'll try to bring them into the studio so that they can answer those questions in one-to-one. Uh, uh, -one. But anyways, let's get back to these. So these are just brought for illustrative purposes. Um, this is the router I was using last. So I'm going to compare I want to compare the 4G routers against the 5G routers. So the current, the last recent MTN router I was using, you see here that it's just, you see here that it's just got one uh, Ethernet port and a phone, po a, phone, a, a phone cable port here and a power source here. Then at the bottom, there's just uh, a micro USB and uh, a SIM card. It takes a nano SIM. So this is the one I was using last. This is the second last router I was using. It's the MTN, it's the MTN ZTE router. Uh, this is the one I actually preferred to the one that replaced it. I stopped using it because I used to put in SIM cards in and out a lot. So it ended up damaging the SIM card port. But if you look at the back here, it had four Ethernet ports, two phone lines, uh, one USB, and also a power source, and it has an on-off button. This one doesn't have an on-off button. So I prefer having the on-off button and uh, multiple Ethernet ports, phone lines, and even the USB, it's something that... Although I don't use it that much, but it's something that it was nice to have. So I no longer use this because I've gone on to the 5G. Now coming to the 5G, I'm going to show you speeds and all, and I'll give you my honest assessment of these things. So this is the one that I purchased. The router on its own cost 2,999 kwacha, which is basically 3,000. But a very, very simple practical hack is to buy the router at 600 kwacha when you purchase a one month uh, 50 megabits per second uncapped internet plan. So you're basically going to get the router plus internet connectivity for one month at 2,999, which is what I did. Then my logic in getting this device is that I knew that the chipset in this is better than the ones in this router. So I was going to get a faster speed and a better user experience. I have a non-profit organization and one of our our friends or colleagues or uh, sponsors gave us the money to purchase this uh, for our internet. So the first month I was going to do the 50 megabits per second plan. Then the second month I was either going to downgrade to the 30 megabits per second plan or any of the other MTN uh, offerings because you can use uh, this router and this SIM with a 5G SIM card on any of the MTN plans. It doesn't need doesn't mean that every month you have to pay 2,900. Sorry, 2,399 or 1,999. You can even do the 10 quarter bundles, the 5 quarter bundles, the star 
two one one hash bundles, the star triple seven hash bundles, and all. So I got this, made my video, then empty and reached out, and they gave me this one to review and compare against this one. So this is the ZTE 5G router. First things first, size wise, this one is bigger, this one is smaller. Um, in terms of looks, I prefer the ZTE. It looks sleeker, it looks better. But this one is also nice looking. Then if you look at the back, this is where it gets interesting. The no brand one has got more functionality. It's got four Ethernet ports here, uh, one phone line. Um, it takes a micro SIM and it also takes a USB type C. And it's got a power on and off button. Then on the front, you've got your power, you've got your signal strength, you've got your, I mean, your Wi-Fi, you've got your 4G, 5G, and this is the signal strength. So right now, I'm in Emmersdale. The signal strength is a little bit, uh, for both of them, the signal strength isn't the best. Um, but home where I am, the signal strength is uh, really, really okay. So it's also got a WPS. Uh, this one is if you are setting up a wireless printer or wireless devices. I use this a lot because I've got a printer which I'll try to show in my next video how I set it up and all. Then when you come to the ZTE router, it's sleeker with the lights are here. There's the power, the Wi-Fi signal, the network, the, and then the signal strength. So three bars, best strength, two bars, weaker, one bar, weakest. Then at the back, it's less than this one it's only got two ethernet ports a phone port and this i think are signal boosters most likely you attach uh, external uh, antenna and you've got a wps button so this one has got no power on or off button so in terms of looks i prefer the zte in terms of accessibility options i prefer the no name brand uh, it's got a power button which is a plus and uh, extra ethernet ports contrary to popular belief Ethernet ports are still in use, especially with computers, I mean desktop PCs and uh, some of the older laptops and even other devices. You don't really want, to, sometimes it's faster to connect an Ethernet cable than to use the Wi-Fi. Now, uh, these two things also have different user interfaces. So let me just connect to, I'm connecting to the ZTE first and uh, both of them use the same IP address. Uh, the IP address you'll find at the bottom down, down there. It's a 192.168.0.1. You'll find them at the bottom. Now the ZTE uh, portal, it looks a little bit different. You just have to log in, put in your password. And once you go in, I prefer the MT, uh, I mean the ZTE uh, web portal because it has more uh, functionality than the no-name brand. You're able to see how many devices are connected. You are also able to block or disconnect devices you don't want. In case uh, someone some unauthorized person has uh, gotten your password and is connected and you find that out in the interface, you can actually disconnect them. You are able to see your usage, uh, check out your usage, set use, uh, usage caps if you want, especially if you are going to be downgrading to the, to the smaller internet bundles, you know, the 10 gigs, 1 gigs, 5 gigs or so. You can actually set it uh, to cut when you reach 95% or so of your bundle size. Uh, you can switch on and off the 4G using the, I mean, the Wi-Fi using the web portal. And um, you're also able to send SMSs and you also have USSD dialing. So in case you want to purchase uh, bundles direct from the router without using a phone or any other app, you can with the ZTE. In terms of uh, the uh, web interface, I prefer the ZTE. Now let me go to, let me connect to this no-name brand uh, 5G. Although it's a no-name brand, it, the name of the, the brand is actually at the bottom, but it's not branded anywhere on uh, the visible sides. It's actually a very, very decent router. Let me, uh, forgive me for calling it no-name brand. I will find out the name of this brand when I go back to MTN. Okay, so it's now it's connected and I'm going to the web interface uh, on the IP address 192.168.0.1. Now, um, the web interface for this one, I do not like. It's functional and all, but it's, uh, it's more for those really, really technical people. I haven't yet found a way of blocking devices that are connected to this or uh, sending SMSs or using any USSD functionality. Uh, but for those who just plug and play, it's actually very, very okay. But for us who want to be managing who's using our Wi-Fi, being able to disconnect them, monitor them, and all 
um, I prefer the ZTE. So now the next thing I'm going to do is test out the speed. But there's a bit of a caveat to this because uh, this one is a store purchased uh, router. So I know the speed is absolutely capped at 50 megabits per second. I haven't reached 50 megabits yet, but I've been reaching, I reached as high as 47 megabits per second at home in IBEX extension. Today I'm in the studio in Emmersdale, so the speed, uh, I won't be getting the speeds that I get uh, home. This one here, I reached speeds of over 130 megabits per second. Today in the studio, I'll just compare, because the speed here is a, bit, a little bit low for both, I'll compare the speed, but when I get back home, I will compare the speed using the SIM card on this one. I'm going to swap SIM cards, so at, at least uh, yeah, it, it's a neutral test. So I'm just going to fast.com. And I'm going to check out the speed for this one. Okay, so I'm going to fast.com to check out the speed for the no-name brand. And then I'm going to compare with uh, this one. So on this one, uh, the speed so far, just a second. All right, the speed is showing, averaging about above 10 megabits per second. Uh, 10 to 13 megabits per second. It's now dropped to 9, as you can see. So let's see what the speed test will show. Okay, looks like it's going to be in the 9 megabits per second range. And uh, speed is dependent on where you are. So don't be mistaken that you just need to take this anywhere and you'll get the fastest speed. So this one has done 9.6 megabits per second. Uh, speed test here in Emmersdale. Now I'm doing the other one. Uh, I'm connecting to the review unit here. Okay, so I've connected to the review unit and I'm doing the test. Okay, so in most cases, the review unit has been faster than uh, this one. So I'll see whether it also applies here in Emmersdale where I am. And uh, so far it is. This one was 9 megabits per second. This one is 14. So this one is usually always faster than this one. So I don't know whether it's because... This is a review kit and this one is uh, the store purchased uh, kit. The speeds are usually almost similar, but this one does shoot over 50 megabits per second quite a bit of times, even on 4G. All right, so now uh, before I answer a question of who, is, who, are these, or who, is, who are these 5G routers meant for, I just need to answer very, very, I just need to point out something very, very simple that Zambia is a very, very diverse country with diverse cultures, diverse people, diverse languages and diverse internet needs. So if you look at this information is not provided by MTN. I got it simply by dialing star 117 hash and going through all the bundle offerings which are there. So on the high end of the MTN internet uh, uh, packages are the 5G unlimited plans. You've got the 50 megabits per second, which is 2,399 and the 30 megabits per second, 1,999. So a lot of people will say, oh, wow, ouch, that's so much, so much, so much. But if you are a heavy internet user, you know, like I am and a lot of other people, most of us have been gravitating towards the unlimited Blaze plans where you've got the 3 megabits per second, which is 479, the 5 megabits, which is uh, 649, the 15 megabits, which is 1499, and the 20 megabits, which is 1,999. So for those people who use the Blaze Unlimited uh, Internet and are doing are on the 15 megabits uh, or 20 megabits per second plans, I would highly recommend you actually upgrade to the 5G routers. Uh, depending on where you are, you'll still be on 4G, but your speeds will be faster You'll be getting faster speeds. Even the 30 megabits per second plan is okay at 1,999. Uh, this is for the people who are on the 15 megabits per second and 20 megabits per second plans. These, even if you don't have 5, 5G in your areas, these will be able to work in your areas. It will downscale to 4G and you'll get the speeds. And it's not capped. When you do 15 gig a day, if you're on the 15 megabits plan, you, you, your speeds won't get throttled. You continue to do the super fast speeds and proceed. If you're on the 20 megabits per second plan on the blaze, it simply means that you are, it's the same cost as 30 megabits per second on the 5G plan, uh, which works out better because you are, you've got greater bandwidth 
and greater capacity to do things. Because contrary to what we believe in Zambia, there are, people have different needs for different services. If you're on the home uh, bundles, like you're doing one, 140 gigs, uh, 140 gigs, uh, 85 gigs or so, you can either stick to your 4G routers or you can still upgrade to these. You'll be getting a faster internet speed all the same with these. So you need to do your mathematics, whether the cost of getting the router does balance up. Uh, is, uh, the cost of getting these routers for the faster speed is worth the extra cost you're going to incur. But now if you're if you one of those, like I am on occasion, you know, who are using the, the Star 211 hash bundles or the MiFi bundles or the Star 777 bundles or these data, the data bundles, the hourly, weekly, monthly bundles, you need to do your mathematics and see how much you spend on internet per month. If you are spending 100 kwacha on internet per month, upgrading to these might be a, an, an overkill. But if you are spending up to 1,500 kwacha per month on internet, upgrading to these might actually make some sense. It would mean upgrading to these and getting the 30 megabits per second plan. Uh, so that you know you will be paying an extra 499 kwacha so that's my thinking and rationale that thinking is not sponsored by mtn in any way it's just my thinking and rationale i'm a heavy user and i had i was forced to upgrade to this because in my line of business my consulting every day um i was using 30 gigs a day on those 10 uh, the mtn 10 to 10 i was buying three four of those on a daily basis and when I did the maths, it was not, it, the maths was not my thing. So I said, let me just upgrade and uh, pay for internet once in a month and then get full access, full um, undiluted access. So anyway, that's that for today's video. I'm just comparing these two routers and explaining some of the things on the MTN uh, 5G plan. Uh, the other thing is that this is wholly dependent on which area you're in. So I did carry this router to Chongwe area. When I got to Chongwe, the network was really bad. Basically, all three networks. I'm on Zamtel, Airtel, and, and MTN. All three of them had really bad coverage that side. Then from Chongwe, I went to visit a friend in uh, Silverest area. The network was also bad. So even with this router, as big and powerful as it is, we're getting speeds of less than one megabit per second in the place I went. If you've got really, really bad network coverage where you are, these routers will not change your life in any way. You still get bad internet coverage. So these work where the 4G internet is basically covered properly, you'll be able to use these uh, more or less to the maximum capacity that you can. And I'm going to continue doing some speed tests. I'll go back to MTN. Please ask all the questions for MTN down in the comment section and I'll be sure to pass the questions on to them and let them answer the technical bits. I'm just an end user, a bit of a geek, but I'm not a super geek. So I'll let the pros at MTN answer your questions. Anyways, let me know if you're getting one of these, uh, which ones you want to get, whether it's this type or the ZTE. And let me know also if you've already gotten one of these, what your experience has been. You can let me know in the comment section or you can even go on my, I'll leave a link to my blog. You can go there, leave your comments, we can interact and we find out the best way of using these. Anyways, thanks for watching guys. Mulos, bye.